nutrition. <laughs> so all you fat fucks out there, see this shit here? Ice coffee, mate. The dairy, the fucking hormones, the fruit juice is good, the fucking eggs and the bacon and the dead fucking pig. That's what makes fucking fat cunts fucking fat. No fucking cunt got fucking fat from eating fucking vegan Subway's white flour. No motherfucker. You show me any motherfucker who's 400 pounds who got fat from eating Drew on his fucking recommendations as fucking Subway Australia. No motherfucker. So stop all your fucking potato diets, your fucking banana diet only, or you're fucking only eating rice for fucking 10 years. Do that as an experiment to show people can do that and live on one food for an extended period of time. But if you're doing that shit because you're so narcissistic and you, your own approval is based on the numbers on the scale or how you look in the mirror, you need to get a motherfucking life. Seriously. You really need to fucking step up. Because when people go to the veganism on YouTube and they see some motherfucker just eating fucking fruit, fucking raspberries or something, for rest, or just potato diet or banana diet or whatever, forever, just to lose weight. They're going to think, why the fuck would I go vegan if I just have to eat fucking potatoes to lose weight? If you're doing a potato challenge for a year or ten years to say, hey look, I can live on potatoes and still want to be alive. Okay, rad. But if you're telling motherfuckers they can't go to Subway with their fucking mates, with their fucking teenagers, and enjoy a fucking sub, because it's got white processed sugars and it, it might make you like a fat lock drill right, it fucking isn't. That's fucking dumb and that's deactivism. We need to upgrade our shit, update our shit. Stop putting out their fucking unsustainable vegan vegan dietary recommendations, man. Why do that? It's shit. It's restrictive. It doesn't let any motherfucker do better on a vegan lifestyle. We want to make it sustainable, motherfuckers. Carve the fuck up. Get off your fucking fad anorexic fucking ballet diets. Be a real man. Be a real woman. Fucking sell your car. We need more motherfuckers on bikes and to live on the bike lifestyle, being lean for life, not just for some fucking Instagram challenge. Who can lose the weight fastest for this summer? Fuck that. It's for fucking life. Do it. And carve the fuck up. Honestly, motherfuckers be binging hard. Man, I know it myself, because I used to do that fucking restrictive bullshit back in the day, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. When I first went vegan, I'd be like, eat a bag of cashews, feel sick, do some like fruitarian, juice diet or whatever. You clean out. And all you do, man, is you set yourself up for a fucking binge cycle. So everyone out there doing a banana cleanse, a potato cleanse, a fucking rice water broth, celery chip fucking cleanse, is going to be binging hard. And then they're going to gain all the weight back, plus some extra, because they've lost fitness. Who gets fitter just eating bananas? A fucking banana island diet. Nobody. Who gets, who gets fitter just eating potatoes? Nobody. Because you're restricting calories, man. And when you restrict your carbohydrate calories, you become anemic and your ability to burn fat becomes fucked up, becomes less. So if your goal is to be lean like me and have energy to get it fucking done, I recommend take some advice from Drew Not, even if you hate my guts or whatever. Swallow your pride, swallow your fucking ego. What is your purpose? Wanna help the planet? Wanna get leaner? Wanna do both? Make some good money on YouTube helping people? Maybe I've got some fucking tips for you. Maybe don't take advice from nobody who ain't got the fucking results you want. Think about it. People lack energy. They lack fucking energy and passion. The two biggest deficiencies in society is passion and fucking energy. Most people do lines of fucking coke to get some fucking energy and it's a lot of short lasting, never long lasting. Passion. Most people are scared to be passionate because they're scared of getting judged or ridiculed because their ego is so fucking up, far up their ass. They're like so self absorbed they can't even see what they're doing wrong. And they're thinking, well, if I say that, I'll share my power I'm passionate about, maybe people might laugh at me. That's your ego fucking talking. Find out why you're passionate and fucking do it and don't give a fuck what anyone says. Dance like no one's watching, live like everyone's fucking watching. And you don't even give a fuck if they're watching. And that's confidence, where you're doing what needs to be fucking done, regardless of what any dumb fucking undercard fuck, jealous hater fucking says on the internet or whatever. Do you know how I can stay doing this for so long? It's because I'm carved up and I've got the passion. If I didn't have the carbs, the passion would be like, passion's like your fire. Carbs are your fucking petrol. That's the fucking napalm. If you want to be napalm and motherfuckers with the truth on the internet and in real life, in your community, everywhere, even in your, own, your fucking own reality, if you want to napalm with the fucking truth, you've got to have the carbs. Combine them with what you're passionate about. Too many fucks out, they don't have any passion. They don't know what the fuck they're living for. They're like, oh, number on the scale, I've got to be this, this body weight or lean, ripped, six pack fucking keto bodies, trend fucking money abs. You know? People got no idea what the fuck they're doing in life. So then someone like me comes along and you're just crazy, Joe Rollo's. I got I just too much truth for me. The truth will set you free, but first it's gonna fucking piss you off. Stop being a number on the fucking scale. Stop being a fucking fire gap. Stop being a fucking Instagram fucking hashtag wannabe. Find out what you're fucking passionate about, carve the fuck up, and do it every fucking day. And fuck the haters. They make you fucking famous.